If you have a system like this and your experience is anything similar to mine, then you have found that um, lubricating all the pulleys helps a lot uh, to cut down on the rolling friction. However, if you do have both sides hooked together in order to use true weight for whatever reason, uh, you find that the rolling resistance is still quite significant. So you find yourself working with just one side or the other. Here I'm going to show 50 pounds. Um, true weight is going to be around 50 pounds, at least in that vicinity. Um, but if you're trying to do static holds like this, the weight drops pretty significantly after you start pulling on it. It's a lot smoother if you're working with one side, but then you need double the weight. So. Um, I'm going to show what I did to convert this thing to a true weight on one side of the pulley. Um, here you can see pulling on one side only gives you, uh, you know, roughly half the weight. But again, it's a lot smoother. An advantage to this is going to be to cut out all of these extra pulleys that you're pulling through in order to achieve true weight. And really what you need to do is you need to pull up on both sides of this pulley evenly in order to get true weight pull up on one side or the other you're only getting half the weight here just this quick little diagram shows you 50 pounds down you got to do 25 on both sides but if you can connect the two together somehow you get that 50 pounds true so I'm I bought a cable from Amazon and I also bought a few exercise pulleys it was relatively inexpensive here are the pulleys that I bought now this unit I created from some stuff I got from Amazon it's gonna replace that middle block there here are the units I got from Amazon. I'm going to take them apart. And um, one of the things that you really need to do with all of your pulleys is to take these bearings apart and lubricate them really well. With I use some um, silicone-based lubricant in there. Uh, just that's some, something you really want to have if you have any kind of exercise equipment. Um, so we're taking this apart, and you can see how much friction there is in that pulley. Uh, taking the rest of the little pulley part here, just getting it completely disassembled. It only takes a few minutes. And all of these bolts here are 3 8 US standard. So here's how we grease up those pulleys. I say grease them up. You don't want grease. You want some real, some silicone spray here. And you take these dust caps off. And then when you take the dust caps off, you're going to be able to see the, the, the two moving surfaces. And you're just going to spray the lubricant where those move, where, where that, uh, where that edge is, where the two meet. So it can get down inside there and lubricate that bearing. And hopefully you can see in the video here how smoothly it turns once, it, once it's well lubricated. And I think you got to do this a couple times a year at least, depending on how much wear and tear you get and if they start to... You know, start to get sluggish again. You just grease. I say grease. You don't grease them up, but you, you know, you lubricate them again and get it rolling again. Now, if anybody has a better solution than this, I would love to know what it is. But I think this is just nature of the beast here. So you get those things spinning really freely. Put the dust caps back on, and then you're going to reassemble these two parts into a new kind of pulley block that will replace that double-sided pulley block that was in the middle of the whole unit. Uh, you know, clean off all that extra lubricant. Um, you want to get it, that off the pulley. You don't want the cable itself to slide. So here are the pieces we've got. We've got the two yokes, we've got the two pulleys, and we've got the various hardware that came with them. Now, one piece of hardware that I did buy an extra, it's a one inch, uh, three eighths bolt with a nut and lock washer. And I just take that and fasten those two together. Um, they had eye bolts in them on those, you know, in order to, so you could hang them from a hook or something. So it replaced those eye bolts. I'm just going to run a bolt through um, and just attach them to, attach those two together. And that's going to make the new pulley block to replace the original pulley block that was in the middle. Now, this is only going to allow one cable to run through from one side down, and then we're going to fix it to our weight. And I'll show you how I did that. Got that all tightened up. And you put your pulleys on either side. I'm just kind of reinstalling them finger tight right now because I got to take it all back apart again. And when I say I'm assembling it finger tight, I'm talking about the pulleys. 
the bracket itself in order to form that new pulley block. I have uh, tightened that down completely at this point. So you can see the cable that's in there now, it goes up and back down on the left side through this double block, up and back down, and then it goes through a pulley on the weight holder, and then back up and around through the double block, back up to the top and all the way over to the right hand side. And this is what I will be replacing. So I'll be taking the right side completely off. I got to take all of these bolts out that I'm pointing to here in order to get this cable out take the existing cable out and then I'll replace it with my new cable and the pulley block that I just created loosening everything up and then I'll go back through and actually take everything apart be careful not to over tighten these uh, because they can actually cause the pulleys to bind a little bit I got all the nuts off here. I'll take the bolts out. And then I'm going to keep all of the parts that I take off so that if I ever decide to sell this or reassemble it back the way it was, I haven't modified it in such a way that it has destroyed its original purpose or its original design. I'm only replacing parts that are already there and I'm keeping all these so that I can put it all back together again if I decide this doesn't work out very well. This is the pulley block, the yoke for the pulley block that we're going to replace. I'm hanging on to the old cable because I'll maybe one day going to reinstall it. Here's the new cable I got from Amazon. And the reason I got a new cable instead of buying a cable at the hardware store is because I was really interested in not cutting the old cable and I was also interested in getting that that rubber ball and the the attachments on that end. So here is my new pulley block. It has the pulleys that are the same size as the original pulleys. That was kind of a happy accident. I didn't check that too much, but they're all exercise pulleys, so I imagine there's a few standard size. This is a new cable from Amazon. I'm going to run this through. Go ahead and put the pulley back in and run it up to the top. This is only on one side now. I'm not crossing over sides at all. Make sure to keep this cable as straight as you can so you're not ha trying to untwist it. It is a little twisted when you get it. And now back through the top part of the new pulley block that I made. It, this is actually really simplifying this whole system. It's taking some of the functionality away, but I think this is going to work better for me. Time will tell.
And then now we're going through the top pulley. The that's right above the weights. And then after we get this through, I'll run it down to the weights themselves. So here's the path of the new cable. It goes in here, up through the top, down through the new pulley block, and back up, down to the weights. And originally I was going to attach it around the pulley like that. You'll see later I decided not to put the original pulley in. One point is you've got to loosen this adjuster so that you have room to tighten the cable. Probably your adjuster was set pretty tight from, from before. At this point, this is just me getting the cable tight and, and I decided not to put the pulley back in but just to attach the cable directly through a carabiner to the weight sled and I use some of those cable crimping attachments. Now the whole other side of this system is not going to be used but just to test it I got 50 pounds loaded here and we're going to pull and look at watch the weight only on one side and you can see it's pulling right up to the 50 pound range so now you can just adjust this to get it nice and tight um, obviously you want the weight sled to be all the way down but you want the cable tight and because we loosened that adjuster we now have plenty of space to tighten it up so here's what's left over my original cable and all the pulleys that came off the one side I even took the block off the right side that um, the swivel block uh, from from that right side. Now, I just kind of neatened up and put another cable crimp attachment there. I hope this actually does result in smoother action on this system, but we'll see. Thanks.